Hello, my name is Megan Mason, Assistant Director, Career Consultant in the UAB Career Center. Welcome to our interview workshop. Today, students will identify resources and opportunities and practice interviewing. Students will be able to effectively tell their story. Students will also articulate their value to employers using proven techniques to answer behavioral interview questions. Students will successfully utilize the STAR method. Preparing for the interview. Did you know 47% of employers respond that the biggest mistakes that candidates make is they come to the interview knowing little to no knowledge about the company. So it's always important that you make sure that you research the company before going to an interview. But first, you want to know yourself. Let's talk about knowledge, experience, skills, personal traits, goals, and values to the employers. You want to know why are you qualified for the position? What skills and traits you have that will impress the recruiter or the hiring manager? What personal traits do you possess that you know will be an asset to a company? What are your goals and morals? Are they connected to the missions of the company? or are they connected to the values and the morals of the company? Those things are important, but first you wanna make sure that you list out those things to prepare for the interview. So take some time to think about what you bring to the company. It's also important that you know how to tell stories in your interview. Interviewing is all about telling stories. What stories do you want to tell? What do you want them to know about you? How do you want to make a connection with the company? So you want to develop your stories before going to the interview. You want to be prepared. You want to have stories and you want to be able to insert those stories and conversations. So for example, they may ask you questions and you may have a success story or an accomplishment that you know that will impress that person that you are interviewing with. Make sure you tell those stories, but make sure you have those stories prepared and ready to go. Tell me about yourself. This is usually the most important question of the interview. This question sets the tone for the interview. And if you mess this question up, most likely you have just messed up the interview. So you wanna be sure to talk about where you are, which is present, what you've done in the past, past, in future, your future goals or your future aspirations. So for example, you may say, I am a senior at UAB majoring in public health and I'm currently working in a research lab. Before working in that lab, I volunteered at a local blood drive. My ultimate goal is to ensure equal access to basic health care for all Alabamians. That way, they're able to see what you're currently doing, what you've done in the past, and your ultimate goal. Let's talk about behavioral-based questions. Behavioral-based questions are very common in interviews. These are questions that usually starts with, tell me about a time you dealt with a difficult person and how did you handle it? Or tell me about a time you made a mistake and how did you fix it? Or tell me about a time you set a goal and how did you achieve it? You wanna make sure that you tell a little bit about your leadership skills or talk a little bit about your accomplishment or communication or teamwork skills. You wanna make sure that you portray as a leader in these conversations. But you also wanna make sure you use what we call the STAR method, which is the situation, the task, the action, and the results. Here's a quick story or a quick illustration on how to create a STAR method answer. Closing the interview is very important. You wanna make sure that you know how to close an interview. 
You don't want to end the, the interview without asking questions. You want to make sure that you ask questions. If they ask you, do you have any questions for us? You want to be sure that you have a few questions, um, learning a little bit about the company. Make sure that they know that you are interested in the job and also be sure to inquire about next steps. So for example, um, when you're asking questions about the company itself, you may say, um, is there room for growth within the company? Or you may say, um, how is success measured within the company? And, and so those things are important. Um, think about what is important to you and make sure that you ask those questions. Never, never, never leave an interview open without closing it by asking a question. Practice makes perfect. Be sure that you are practicing. Be sure that you are utilizing our UAB interview stream, which is located in the resource library at uab.handshake.com. And in the interview stream, you're able to mimic the interview experience, practice anytime and anywhere, curate prompts, and integrate into academics. So it's always important that you find other resources to help you prepare for interviews. Also check out our UAB Career Canvas. There are several modules, but the module that's outlined for interviews is module five. It's called Interview Skills, where you're able to navigate the common interview questions, utilize the STAR method in which we talked about, successfully follow up on the interview and identify appropriate attire. Employer expectations. You wanna make sure that you are on time. Time is always, always important. So I say be there at least 15 minutes early and make sure that you're ready to start the interview. Prepare, prepare, prepare. Preparation is very, very important. Enthusiasm. Make sure that you're excited about the interview. Make sure that you want to be there. Make sure that they know that you want to be there and always dress to impress. So you may ask yourself, okay, so what should I wear? Business professional? Business casual? or smart casual? It really depends on what the company is looking for. I say always dress to impress, but you may find a company that's more laid back and they may say business casual is what they're looking for. So you'll go to the interview in business casual, or they may say, no, we're looking for a more professional look but you'll be able to pick up on the vibe of the company when they call you in for an interview. But always remember, be genuine, be prepared, and be confident. Our walk-in hours is Monday through Friday from 9 a.m. to 4 p.m. Please visit our website for the link so that you can access for walk-in hours. Thank you, and once again, my name is Megan Mason, your career consultant.